Welcome to the M M Milton Public Library in Milton, Vermont. I am going to be book talking some of the books from the Vermont Golden Dome Book Award, which is uh, the Children's Book Award um, for grades four through eight. Um, there are 30 books on the list, and if you read um, five or more, you can vote. The voting will be taking place in April. So I'll get started. The first book that I'm um, book talking to you today is We're Not From Here. It's by Jeff Rodkey. Um, this is science fiction, so if you like science fiction books, I highly recommend this one. Um, just to tell you a little bit about it. Earth is now uninhabitable, and Mars doesn't really support human life. So the remainder of the human race, in mass, heads out to a planet called Chum, world of Azuri, who look like giant mosquitoes the marshmallow, like Orel, and the Kirk, green werewolves, and the Nug, giant worms. By the time the human ships arrive at their destination, however, after 20 years in bio-suspension, the government of Trome has changed their hands and no longer wants to accept human refugees. The young Lan Milfum and family are picked as test case, tasked with proving in the face of anti-human government propaganda that humans can assimilate with the other races and live in peace. So as you can imagine, this book um, is um, an interesting take on humans being the refugees. Um, and you'll find it um, pretty humorous in spots, and I think you'll really like it. It's called We're Not From Here by Jeff Rodkey. The next book, The Odd Meyer, Book one, The Changeling. So this is a series, a new series. This is the first book. Um, we already have the second book in the series and the third one is due out in June. Uh, the Admire Changeling, book one, um, written by William Ritter. And this is fantasy. Um, Tim and Cole look like identical twins, but one of them, due to Cole, a bumbling goblin, is really a changeling, but which one? Now that they've near, they're nearly 13, a message in a map arrives from Cull, telling them uh, that if the changeling does not return to the goblin horde, both he, the horde, and the magic itself will die. So off both boys go on a dangerous adventure into the wild wood and across the Admire Swamp. They were to meet a strange, shape-shifting girl named Fable and contend with a fearsome monster before at last discovering who they really are. And this is, again, the first in the series. Um, if you like fantasy that's a little bit dark, um, I think you'll really like uh, The Oddmire Changeling uh, by William Ritter. The next book is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. Um, it is also um, has a sequel, and we have it here at the library. Um, this is another fantasy uh, book. Uh, Tristan, the main character, is miserable after losing his first boxing match, which disappointed his father, and far worse, failing to save the life of his best friend, Eddie, in a bus accident. He takes Eddie's journal with him to his grandparents' farm in Alabama, where he's being sent to spend the summer. And the action begins when a sticky doll-like creature called Gum Baby shows up to steal uh, time unknowingly punches a hole in the sky of Midpast, a world of burning seas, bone ships, monsters, and the gods in Midpast. Tristan joins forces with uh, African-American icons, John Henry and Bear Rabbit to help the inhabitants, inhabitants break free of the terrible creatures who are after them and try to convince Tricky Anansi the Weaver Spider to repair Tristan's hole that he's made in the sky. So um, I think when you read this, you'll find uh, references to many of the um, African-American um, uh, tales and people um, in our folklore. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it, and it is the first in the series. It's Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. I have one more book that's um, fantasy, and it's called The Dark Lord Clementine. Um, it's by Sarah Jean Howitz. Clementine Maracus is 12 years old and the dark lore ether's sole heir. And that means she must master the art of dastardly deeds. 
But when her father is cursed by a clever rival known as the Little Witch, Clementine must step into the Dark Lord's role sooner than she had expected. She soon discovered, however, that she's not so sure she wants to be the Dark Lord after all. With the help of more than a little magic and some newly found friends, including a chicken, who's also a spell book, a sheep, who's really a boy, and a boy who wants to be a knight, and a sword chucking the lady in the lake, Clementine endeavors to cure her father and carve her own destiny. Oh, and there's a unicorn and a unicorn hunter. So this is a really fun fantasy. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, this It sounds like it's the first in a series, but I haven't checked to see if there's another one in it, but I think you'll really enjoy it. It's The Dark Lord Clementine by Sarah Jean Horowitz. Oh, I'm running out of space here a little bit, but let's see. There we go. So I have some realistic, realistic fiction to talk to you about today. Um, the first book is uh, The Next Great Pauline Fink by Ally Benjamin. Uh, this book is realistic fiction. Um, the main character, Caitlin, um, moves from New York to a rural town in Vermont. So it's a Vermont, has that Vermont uh, catch to it. Um, she's only one of 10 students in her tiny new seventh grade. And all she seems to hear about from her classmates is the story of the amazing and now mysteriously disappeared class clown, klutz, troublemaker, Pauline Fink. Caitlin is put in charge of a reality style show competition to find the next great Pauline Fink. And as the shenanigans ensue, when Caitlin learns about her eccentric classmates and Pauline himself leads her to question what is meant, what it is meant to be a legend. So as you can imagine, there are some really funny parts in this book. Um, I think if you like realistic fiction and you like funny books, I think you'll really enjoy this one because some of the antics that uh, the kids get up to are pretty funny. So it's The Next Great Pauline Fink by Allie Benjamin. Um, the next book is Astrophysics for Young People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson and Gregory um, Mon. This is a nonfiction book. Um, it's written um, about astrophysics. Um, and I don't know a lot about astrophysics, but after reading this book, um, I, I did find that it was a little less uh, sciencey and technical than I thought it would be. Um, in the beginning, nearly 14 billion years ago, the entire universe was smaller than the period at the end of a sentence. So begins, and literally, literally, literally <laughs> with a bang, Neil deGrasse Tyson's fascinating and reader-friendly overview of cosmo cosmology for curious kids, packed with color photos, fact boxes, wonderful information. Find out what's the most popular element in the universe and why portly Santa Claus should vacation in Ecuador and learn about dark matter, dark energy, wormholes, blue galaxies, and the astronomer Tai Cho Bra, famed for describing a supernova who had a pet elk and a brass nose. So if that's just not entire, you know, enticing enough for you, I wanted to show you a couple of the pictures because the pictures in the book I think are really amazing. That's the picture of a um, exploding star. And it is nonfiction, so these are all uh, true. This is a picture um, what, of what our, our planet looks like from, from, um, from space. And the pictures in here and the charts, they're all factual and they're all really, I think, really cool. So if you wanna learn a little bit about astrophysics, um, you should uh, check this book out and I think you'll really enjoy it. I think it puts a new spin on it that you'll really um, like and learn a bit more about astrophysics. Okay, I'll put it all down. There we go. The last book that I'm going to call and talk about today, I think I'll just leave that down there, is called The Bridge Home by Panama Ven, this is a tricky name, Venkataramanan, which I'm not sure I spell, uh, pronounced correctly, but um, she's written several books, and I've read a couple of them, and I really like them. This book is, takes place in India, and it's about um, some homeless kids. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Homeless on the streets of India because they needed to escape a violent violence at home. Binjan and Rescue discover that the family you choose can be kinder and more loyal than the family with, 
in which you were born. <clears throat> After uh, befriending two equally desperate brothers, they scour the trash pits and streets to find food and money, and their situation is dire, but their love for each other gives them the grit and the hope, and maybe the chance to survive. This book, I think, gives a really a wonderful window into um, a very uh, poverty-stricken area of the world and how kids um, try to survive this poverty and um, violence that they find. So I think if you like realistic fiction and you like reading books that are um, about different countries and different um, um, ways of life, I think you'll really like The Bridge Home uh, by Padma Ben Katraman. Well, those are seven of the books that were or that I've discussed today. Um, I'll do another um, next month with another seven books because in April, if you've read at least five of these books, you can vote um, at your uh, at your library at school um, in Vermont uh, to choose your favorite. This is one of the few children uh, voted on awards. Um, and this is Vermont's and they just changed the name this year. You guys voted on it and came up with a great name, the Vermont Golden Dome Award. Thank you for coming and uh, listening and I hope you get to read at least one of these great books. Bye now.